I know what you're thinking. This could not get any worse. Well, trust me, it's not even started. Not only is my esteemed playwright slash tutor a raging alcoholic and doesn't give a shit about my play, he also shagged my best friend. Thanks, Becky. Alfie, oh, Alex, whatever his name is, was turning out to be a complete and utter waste of time. <gasps> Bloody brilliant. <laughs> Alex? What? Why does it say Alexander Matthews on your driving licence? Alex has always been my real name. Just use Alfie to keep away from stalkers, you know, like Charles Manson and all that. Who? This guy. Tattoos on his head. Celebrity killer from the 60s. He's in prison now, though. I'd say it's okay to assume you're safe from that now. That's why I said like Charles Manson. Is that everything? One more thing. Do you seriously not remember me from Covent Garden? I'm a busy man. Every time I hear from you, you've messed up. So, Alex, how are you? She's seen my driving licence. How has she seen your driving licence? You met her in Covent Garden, right? Yeah, I told you she poured a cup of coffee over me. But wait, she's seen your driving licence. Coffee must be a weapon of mass destruction. Yeah, coffee's like... No, Alex, can you tell me if we've been compromised? I think that no, but also possibly maybe. So, did you get the contract? Oh, Ulysses Picard, you dirty... Where have you been hiding? In the loving heart of theatre. So, are you like free any time later or? Yep. We could maybe go for a drink? No. You've forgotten? A couple of weeks ago, I'm in women's underwear. I'm in men's underwear now and I'm saying no. Something up? I've been bitten. I think it's fleas at the hotel. Mm. So, should we? I'm saying no. Leave me alone. Well, fuck you then. Oh wait, already tried that. So I think we're pretty much ready for the audition. Oh yeah, it'll be yeah. fine, don't worry. Okay. Don't worry at all. Did you know that Alfie Matthews is just his pen name? Really? What's his real name? Alexander Matthews. He wanted to keep his private and public life separate because of someone called Charles Manson and all that. And all what? Well, I don't know. He wasn't making much sense. If I were you, I wouldn't concern myself with silly boys. Girls are cool, right? <laughs> Guys, you're gonna love me. I found him! Who? I don't see anyone. Oh, Teresa. <laughs> you are gonna love him. He is so passionate about theatre and he loves Greek tragedy. Wow. You should set me up on a blind date. N no, I found the guy to play Die. Antonio Celli? Who? A fresher, in law, but he went to Italia Conti. So what? I mean to Tuscany. The stage school. Isn't that for kids? How old was he? Five? <laughs> no, I think we can definitely work with... What about Phil? Charlie, you don't want Phil. You said so yourself. I just want you to be aware of the option. Particularly when someone's hero worshipping an established writer. Oh, shut up. Where I'm gonna be about these bollocks. Nice, very French. What? Well, the French eat frogs' legs, so I wouldn't be surprised if they ate beer battered bollocks. Bloody French. I gave him the night of his life last week. Well, I would have done if he stayed conscious long enough. And that's pretty good, because he had a tinkle the size of a tampon. Do you always bring a tape measure to bed with you? A girl can tell these things. And anyway, every tinkle I've ever tankled with has been at least three times the size. Oh, what's that? It's the world's smallest violin. It's playing for you. 
But in all seriousness, I've heard Teresa doesn't want him around anyway. I'm not surprised. She's got eyes for Charlie. How can you tell? Can a fisherman tell if he's caught a fish? What? What about crabs? Can a, a fisherman tell if he's caught crabs? Well, I don't know. But if I was a fisherman, I'd be able to tell if I caught a fish. It would be pretty cool to get rid of Alfie, wouldn't it? Oh, fine. Very mature. Ignore me then. Ready? Ready. Who's this? Up first, we have Dominic Lawrence auditioning for Penthouse. Dominic, in your own time. I just thought one day, Mother, you might love me for myself. I cannot for the life of me understand why this character, Di Forsyth, has taken you into. Mama, I beg you, hold me like you used to when I was a child. Fuck me. This must be ironic. This is going to be a long evening. I'd do anything for you. You wouldn't know what an altered state of consciousness was until you came. I'd do anything for you. You wouldn't know what an altered state of consciousness was until you came. Oh shit. Are you okay? I think I've twisted my ankle. Unique New York, unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. Bobby Bibbit put a bet, Bobby Bibbit put a ball. With the bet, Bob bang the ball, Bob bang the ball against the wall. Do you mind if I borrow that mirror? Eh, yeah, sure, no problem. Bobby Bibbit bought a bat, Bobby Bibbit's a load of crap. Antonio, are you ready? Uh, hang on. Ah, Phil, sorry to keep you waiting. Antonio has to be somewhere else by eight. Oh. Absolutely brilliant, absolutely top notch. We'll be in contact. <sighs> ah, Phil, sorry to keep you waiting. Alfie, not here then? Not yet, no. So at this point, dies in chains, yeah? Yeah. You think because you have chained me, you have crushed my spirit? Man is born free, and even though you despise that concept, because it minimizes. Sorry! Stop worrying. I'm here. Here I am. Me. For God's sake. Alfie, sit down and shut up! Don't mind if I do? You think you can be quiet for five minutes? I don't know. I used to be indecisive, and now I'm not so sure. Okay, Phil, just carry on whenever you're ready. You think these people worship you? Of course they bloody do. Look at me. They hate you. They worship me. Implausible. I'm the best. Now listen to me. I've just about had it with you. I'm going to rip your fucking head off. You're such a fucking irritant. Well, I'm itchy and you're scratchy. Wait, is that right? Not another word. Word. Right! Yeah? Yeah? Hey Alfie, I'm in women's underwear. This is a public place. To do. I'm not here, okay? Just go! Go! Alfie, am I interrupting something? 
No, 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 no. Just itchy. You know how it is. Yeah. Uh, so, what are you calling here, Harv? <laughs> <coughs> So, is there anything I can help you with? No, no, no. Just got another big project. Yeah, big project. Looks like a small task to me. <laughs> yeah. Achoo. Yeah, bless you, Alfie. Achoo. Yeah, um, thanks. Right, now, where was I? Ah, yes, charger. No, 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 no. I left your... I, your office, underneath papers. I nearly mistook it for my own. Oh, really? I must be going to see now. Well, feel free to bring any more small tasks to my office. <laughs> my door's always open. What was that all about? You haven't shagged him as well, have you? Oh, fuck off, I'm not that stupid. He's the... Dean of the University. I nearly had him over a desk in the pod until Eustace Mackay made cameo appearance. Alfie went for you again. He was drunk. You're telling me? Yes, I am telling you. I'm telling you he came drunk to my audition. We fought, no big deal. You think he'll get drunk again? Naturally, it's the only thing he's talented at. And what are you talented at? Musician slash actor slash all round good guy. So, Phil slash egomaniac, would you consider boiling his bollocks and bobble? Nah. Anyway, before he came in, I did the audition of the century. Jesus Christ, are you always so much of a baby? I can get a cup of coffee. Phil, can we have a quick word? Uh, yeah, sure. See you later, Becky. See you later, Becky. So, Phil, your audition was good. So how good I was then? Yeah, you didn't get the part. What? We decided to go with Antonio. Antonio Telly. I got the looks, the charm, the charisma. Yeah, we're sorry. Antonio just really was a superior actor. Right! I fought Alfie for this. That's how much passion I got for this fucking play. Did Antonio fight anyone for it? You handled that so well. I knew you wouldn't get the role. Not that you could be there for the two week rehearsal anyway. No one needs to know about that. You'd have to tell them, Phil. It's academic. Anyway, you don't want to tell anyone. Don't I? Not unless you want people to find out about your ultimate career. I'm done with that now. What happens? Serial killer rock up with his dodgy tastes? Fine, okay. Not that Alfie wanted you anyway. Alfie didn't want me. Put a dog shit in his shoes, how about that? Wow, that's radical. One, you are such a child. Two, your idea is dog shit. And three, you're an idiot. Well, what's your idea then? How about he has an accident on the stairs? Bloody hell, I know the man's a drunk, but I think he knows when and where to take a piss. <gasps> Phil, I am this close to punching you in the face. All right, all right. I've got one for you. How many birds does it take to change a light bulb? Two. One to run around screaming, what do I do? And the other one to shag the electrician. Oh, piss off, you dickhead. <laughs> You're not really my type, and I'm nowhere near drunk enough to shag. You've got a pretty face, but <laughs> you go on longer than the Eurovision Song Contest. What is your problem? I'm drunk. Well, yes, but actually we were referring to your lack of focus and professionalism within the production. And the fact that you're constantly pissed. Sometimes, when you're drunk, you can see better. You should try it. This production team are not here at your disposal. You are their role model. They look up to you. You're playing with them. No, 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 no. That's just the way I'm standing. Alfie, I am seriously starting to question your motives. They both look fine to me. Actually, I'm motivated to get another drink. Alfie, you really need to get your act together. You seem like you've lost your mind, Alfie. You know, one day, 
I let my mind wander and it, it never came back. I lost my mind. We are so similar. I can't hear you. What? I swear they knew all along. They played me. What do you mean they played you? <laughs> I can't take you seriously when you're drunk. I also sexed up her best friend. What did you do? Sex up means sex, Alfie. I can't do this. I'm going to come home. Why would you do that? This is too hard. It's like trying to sell vibrators in a nunnery. Whoa! Alex. Alex. The person you are trying to reach Shit. is not accepting calls. So, when did Alfie fall down the stairs again? Two days ago. Christ, I've lost two days. You've been drinking for two days. I know. I'm out of practice. I'm a wimp. It seems like after all this fuss, and planning, talkers and falls down the stairs and breaks both his legs. <laughs> what a twat. He's got a strong supporting cast. <laughs> He's no longer centre stage. He's had his final curtain call. The theatre's gone dark. Cheers. Cheers. Hi. 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 Ready for the read through? Where have you been? You haven't been answering your phone. I went home. Has anyone been to see Alfie? So you've had, I think I've like 20 texts, including yours. Why would anyone want to see him anyway? A uh, compassion pill? <laughs> Ever heard of it? Yeah, it's a new chocolate bar at Cadbury's. Anyway, seeing as you've got so much compassion, have you been? I phoned. They've moved to a hospital across town, so I'm going to try and go in the next couple of days. Aww. Oh, Phil, your eyes have turned green. What? Green-eyed monster. Oh, smash! Oh, God, not the incredible Hulk. Green-eyed, not green-bodied. I'm quoting Othello. Phil, dumb! We can't have everything. Are you two still coming later? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, Tiffany. Yeah, I'm back. Look, I'm sorry. I hold my hands up and... But for now, I'll just call the Dean. Yeah, I'm heading straight there. You're my agent, Tiff. Do me this favour. Yeah, as soon as I can. So call him first, the Dean. No, I don't know where Alex is. He's disappeared off the face of the earth. Then I'll have to deal with the two of us. Hello everyone, thanks for coming along. Uh, it's gonna be great to work with you all. Yes, so it's a fantastic prize-winning script which Alfie Matthews has helped make even richer. Well, unfortunately, he can't be here today due to his accident, but his job is really over, as is Charlie's, and now ours begins. Hello. Listen, old chap, all you've got to do is be yourself, enjoy it, give him the old one-two, yes? Good boy, good boy. OK, does anyone have any questions? Yes, Antonio. Sorry to interrupt. It not be that we are fucking busy here! Freeza! Some of us have got bloody hangovers. Sorry, I just thought that uh, Alfie should be here. You really should throw these away. Somebody could break their legs. <laughs> <laughs> 